Hey guys, what's up? Wanted to talk to you about the best, to my honest opinion, the best single player mod in the workshop. Let's go. Okay, so this mod called Opcom Operations Command. This basically was released almost two years ago, but still getting updates to this day. And I think it does not get the credit it deserves because this mod is the ultimate single player uh, experience and I'll show you exactly why. So first of all, after you subscribe to this, um, to this mod, you can find its model here under the system model section operations command. Just take it, drop it and place a player. Okay. And that's it. Basically you're set. You're launching the game and you'll get the kind of control panel of this uh, thing. So once it's, uh, it will upload all the mods you have, it basically supports most of the mods, not all, but again, it's it's a good amount of mods that uh, it can work with. And, we'll, and we're getting some uh, nice interface here. We can see our character, uh, the current island map we're in. And here above you can see all those um, tabs. So if I click operator, it starts from here. Okay, you basically you can basically import if you have any like uh, predefined uh, soldiers can uh, gear and stuff. You can just pick one. Okay, and you can uh, just apply. It will save it. If you want to add anything else, you can do it here. It's basically the arsenal. You can go to the uh, uniform, you can change uniforms, you can change your, uh, I don't know, gear, face, gear, night vision, gear, everything, okay? You just set it up here. Squad, it's basically if you want to play with squads, basically, personally, I do not like to play with squads, you know, Arma. It's not very really c uh, convenient. And then you can go to factions. Factions, you basically can choose who's your enemies. Okay, so basically here we see that everyone hates everyone. And here we can, we can see that East is C set. We can change it. You can go to, we click it, we go to faction and we can change to whatever we want. Okay, so basically I'm going to leave it at Russia VMF. And then we're, we're going to go to objective. Here basically we have all the magic. This is the map. It can work, I think, almost with any map in the workshop, which is fantastic. It will just find out uh, which places it can actually uh, create a mission um, and here you can choose between three you have an option to uh, up to five objectives okay for this map you can play liberation if you want okay uh, liberation for those who, who doesn't know it it's like part of the island is like uh, occupied and you need to uh, to to take it again to take it back like step by step uh, place by place Okay, it's a, it's a really nice uh, game mode if you want to try. Global Ops is the <laughs> most interesting one. You can actually set an objectives, up to three objectives, and each objectives, each of the objective is going to be in a different map, which is amazing. Okay, it's like a whole new experience uh, from the beginning. So uh, let's go to missions. We're gonna just check the basics. Uh, you can just add an objective. You have several options here if you want let's say we want to kill hvt we can assign okay not only you can assign it okay if you just run the the uh, run the op now it will just run uh, take a random place and uh, will create the mission there but if you want you can actually go here location objective and you can choose where you want the objective to be uh, to be happening okay let's say i don't know besser airbase uh, you can add some more if you want. Uh, here you can choose your enemy or it will choose uh, automatically. We can just choose Russia. If you want to uh, have any enemy vehicles, what we we'll consider as failure, if you want reinforcements or not. And if you want the uh, uh, mission will, will kind of... Uh, will kind of tell you who's your target exactly, which will be easier for you to spot, but I don't know. Uh, many people do not like it. 
Basically you're done, you can just click deploy mission and off you go. But if you want, you can go to world and then you can actually control uh, on the patrols frequency and group size. Um, if they use NVGs, their behavior, you can, you can create the traffic, okay? You can see that there you're gonna have an air traffic you can, uh, coming soon is like boats and vehicles, which is amazing. And environments, you can choose weather. You can randomize the weather. You can choose the time of the day. Okay, if I go to, let's say, night, I don't know, 1, 1 11, 1 10. Uh, ambient wildlife, I mean, the options are like, I know they're limited, but basically they, they seem like an endless options, which is amazing. You can even have a drone. Uh, every 90 for 90 seconds every time uh, uh, you choose this option if you want it AI skills you can set it up here and this is like menu colors and such I don't think it's important but then if you go to objectives again we have KLHVT and that's it you can deploy mission you can choose insertion type if you want by foot heli or, or power drop but you can also use the the cheat you can press alt and left mouse click on a map location and to just teleport the player it's uh, only only uh, optional in the single player mode so if you just click deploy mission boom here's all the magic happens it's 11 1 12 uh, a.m battle mage to gambler you and i'm here AO. commence the patrol out and i can just click on the map see where the objective is I, he, I need to kill him here and then escape here so as you can see I'm very far I'm here I can just alt and left mouse click and boom I change place this is like a teleport then I can go to the mission area so this is it basically I think this is like anyone wants to experience single player single player mods uh, and play uh, solo this is the best experience you can have um, and I hope you enjoy this movie, uh, this video, because I mean, I saw this mod, I almost never used it, but now that I have less time for MP sessions, uh, this is like uh, the perfect gift. Okay, so uh, give it a try. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe, it would help me greatly. And I'll see you on the next one.